Thanks, Jonathan. After the drama of our last couple of games, who'd bet against another roller coaster of an evening tonight? Partick Thistle looking to become the first fourth place team to progress. Queen's Park aiming to turn the tie around to keep their promotion bid alive. Well, having lost the goals of Simon Murray in January, Queen's are now without their current top scorer, Grant Savory. After that injury on Tuesday, young Aaron Healy, the man taking his spot. Jake Davidson and Alex Bannon had dropped to the bench with captain Tommy Robson and Lee Kildare restored to the defence, but an injury to Jack Thompson in the warm-up means Davison is back in the 11, this time in midfield. Partick Thistle make just one change, and it's the same one enforced upon Chris Dool in first half on Tuesday. Aidan Fitzpatrick in for Stuart Bannigan, with Kyle Turner dropping into Bannigan's midfield slot, Scott Tipperney behind Brian Graham, and Fitzpatrick on the left. Malachi Boateng's goal dragged Queen's back into Tuesday's contest and helping his side win the midfield battle could be key to tonight's outcome. Kyle Turner will have other ideas, immense in the attacking midfield role for Thistle. A little more caution required of him tonight, but he'll still be looking to add to his four goals in six games. Colin Stephen is the man in charge of this huge game. There is Jake Davidson, who started the previous match at right back, but into the central midfield berth this evening. And his manager Owen Coyle having to reshuffle things. And of course, our thoughts with Chris Doolan and a difficult period having lost his father just yesterday. The team winning the first leg of the quarter-final hasn't failed to make the semi since Hibs turned round Wraith Rovers' lead in 2016, and it's only happened on one other occasion. So history on Thistle's side in that regard. But this league has been known to defy convention once in a while. Who knows what's in store tonight? Maybe James McFadden does. Attack and play, hopefully goals. So looking to get an early one as Tiffany sends it in. He was excellent the other night. The key only narrowly lost out on your man of the match. Fox knocks it long, flicked on by Shields. Here's Davidson. First chance of the game. Davidson will stop Davidson again and clear the way. And that's a big opportunity for Jake Davidson. It's a huge opportunity. Connor Shields does brilliant. He just can't get the ball to sit down. And then when the opportunity presents itself, maybe just take that round the goalkeeper. He hits it straight at him. He gets another bite of the cherry. Can't quite find the net. It's a big, big opportunity for Queen's Park. Turner. Sees that one back post. Oh, it's a wonderful finish from Brian Graham. He got the last goal on Tuesday and he's got the first one this evening. And it's another fabulous finish from the striker. And he has put Thistle two goals to the good in the tie. What a finish that is. It's an incredible finish from Brian Graham. It's a good ball in. You just see him backing off. Judging the flight of the ball, he hasn't been able to go on the end of the, the previous court crosses. Look at the intelligence, and then when it comes in, he does not lash at it. It's a side foot finish with power into the side netting. It's a tremendous finish from Brian Graham. And Thistle with advantage now in front of the, the fans. That's brilliant. It really is. It's a tremendous finish from Brian Graham. Great composure. Just to start, Chris Dillon would have hoped for. One up inside, quarter of an hour. Some tidy at the back for Queen's Park. Robson 
Gets it clear, he'll back in towards the danger area by Turner, who has it back again from Lawless. And then McMillan. Lawless. Lovely reverse pass, McMillan, can he pick it back out? It's Tiffany who sweeps it in. And Partick Thistle take a big step towards the semi-final. 2-0 up on the right. And the away fans rejoice. Behind the goal is Scott Tiffany sweeps in a tenth goal of the season. What a brilliant goal it is. Really good play. Again, down the right-hand side. Stevie Lawless with a reverse pass. Brian Graham's on at the back post. Defenders drop back. Tiffany holds his position. And it's a really good finish. But it's so, so well worked from Patrick Thistle. Coming from the start, ball's fizzed into Stevie Lawless. His first touch is brilliant. Then he gets runners. The vision, the pass. Jack McMillan gets a head up. Tiffany putting it into the back of the net. Thistle in real control now. 6-3 the lead on aggregate. It is a commanding position. And then you've got Brian Graham peeling off to the back post, occupying the defenders, and Tiffany just holding his position. It's an excellent play, it really is. Doherty's lost it in the midfield. Queens needs something back quickly. Shields. Graham back there, winning it back inside his own penalty area. Brilliant work from the striker. Doherty's still down, as you can see at the bottom of your picture. Having lost the ball in that challenge at Boateng. And having lost Bannigan in the previous game, Patrick Thistle, with uh, potentially a couple of games against Air United to look forward to. Can't be too frustrated or hard than the referee for trying to let the game float. It's Doherty's free kick. Boateng wins it. Lawless swung back in by Muirhead, there's Brian Graham, Ferry keeps it out first time, but Kevin Holt is there to knock it in, and Partick Thistle are running away with this. And it looks like it's done and dusted by half-time. It's a 7-3 advantage in the tie, and surely there's no way back for Queen's Park now. Just speaking about how they, they were looking confident, starting to look dominant. Brian Graham asking for better crosses the other night. That's a great cross, does really well. Huge slice of fortune, Kevin Holt coming in, but he's in there, he's following in, knowing that that's gone back across the goalkeeper, and if he spills it, and it goes into the back of the net, and I think you're right, out. it looks like this game is quickly running away, or if it hasn't already from Queen's Park, they have to show something. No challenge at all on Brian Graham. He doesn't even have to jump. Ferry be disappointed at not doing better. Potentially, but it's, you know, Brian Graham, you have to credit him. He heads it back across, forcing Ferry into making a save. He's clearly didn't feel comfortable enough to, to catch it. Longridge. Like he was impeded there. Referee not interested. Here comes Thistle again. Tiffany. Turn up. It's away from Healy. It's too easy. It's too easy. And Ferry somehow keeping Brian Graham's effort out there. Almost four in the first half for Thistle on the night. No, he's getting the service tonight, Brian Graham. Excellent from Kyle Turner. <laughs> and it's flashed across. Ferry does really well to get back across. Brian Graham at that back post. Head it down the way, make the keeper make a save. He's certainly getting the service tonight. Kyle Turner looking to put another one on a plate. Comes out to Doherty. Away by Thomas. And he said on a few occasions that they're ahead of schedule. Here comes Thistle again. 
It's Tiffany to make it four. And he really should have. Yeah, he should have. Good slice of fortune in that chance presenting itself. He just fires it straight at the goalkeeper. Here come Queens down the other end. Longridge. Good ball in. Done well. By Holt. Beans come again. Robson. Which forced away from goal. He's done well though. It's dangerous. And a really good and important glove from Mitchell. Pink denied. A bit more. Certainly capable. Here he is with a corner. And for Holt to attack. Curl goal once Ferry's made a mess of that. It is a fourth goal. Danny Mullen, who came on to score the fourth in the victory at Fir Hill a month ago, is on to score the fourth tonight. And it wraps up a victory. That ensures Patrick Thistle will be in the semi final. Yeah, I think I just want to see if there was a deflection on it. Because Ferry is way over his left hand side. And then he has to go with his leg. Yeah, there's a deflection there. And Danny Mullen. A little gift. Simple header into the back of the net. Again. Reacting quick, the Thistle player, Queen's Park player, standing watching. Huge slice of fortune again, but Danny Mullen in there like all good strikers following in. Scoring the first and uh, heavily involved in the third as well. It's just the, the work that it does to leave the gaps for Tiffany, if it's Patrick Law as they go and exploit. Been a bridge too far for this impressive Queen's Park outfit. Uh, they will have to try again. It was not to be a third successive promotion. It's just beyond them. Denied the title on the final day by Dundee and denied a place in the semi final this evening and over the course of the two legs by Partick Thistle, led by Brian Graham. And an excellent team performance over the two legs, making sure the job was done tonight. A fantastic 4-0 victory. Kevin Holt on the score sheet against Queen's again. And Chris Doolan in uh, difficult and tragic circumstances personally has seen out the win. And part of this will very good value, you'd have to say, over the two legs for the place in the semi-final. Queen's Park will surely come again. Danny Mullen, the man who finished the scoring off, having come off the bench, got Tiffany, grabbed the second, and another excellent performance from him. But part of this will, who finished fourth in the league, have seen off third place. Queen's Park become the first fourth place side in the championship to ever progress to the semi-final. Can they go even further? That is the hope from those visiting fans who are enjoying another Friday night party at Oco View. It finishes on the night. Queen's Park nil, Partick Thistle for 8-3 to the Jags on aggregate. Huge congratulations.